Now, I'm, uh, let me show y'all this. Let me get into the Keefy D Reggie story where uh, I don't know, man. Keefy D told so many different various versions of the night uh, Tupac got killed, right? We don't know when he's telling the truth or when he's lying, right? Reggie done told us various stories and different incidents and this stuff and changed his story a few times. So we don't know when he's telling the truth or when he's lying, right? So... Who do y'all believe more, Reggie or Keefy D? I believe them the same. They both have no credibility to me. <laughs> right? But thanks to my man, RJ Bond, I got the paperwork for Keith E.D.'s goddamn from his prophet session. And uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, that is the one I want. Okay. Oh, well. Let me put my logo on here for the sucker niggas. <laughs> Don't get mad, nigga. Put my logo over it. But uh, I want y'all to see that I do got the official paperwork. All right, Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. Now this word here, are y'all familiar with it? Let's look it up here. Rip. Surreptitiously. Surreptitiously means in a way that attempts to avoid notice or attention. Secretively. Okay? Y'all understand? Secretively. Surreptitiously. A surreptitiously recorded interview, a secret recorded interview, right? For the specific crime of homicide, right? The name of person given statement, Dwayne Keith Davis. His old address, Corona, California, right? And right here, down here says, the following is a transcript of a tape recorded interview conducted by Detective D. Long, LA, I mean, Las Vegas Metro Police Department homicide section on 999. September 9th, 2009, at 12.20 in the afternoon. The question, this is Detective D. Long, 
I will be recording a voluntary statement under event number zero, I'm sorry, 960907-2063, investigation of the murder of Tupac. Date and time occurrence, 999-1220, where in the LAPD office. And the DD is Dwayne, what's his name? Uh, Dwayne Dupree, I think it is. DD. Dwayne Davis is uh, Keefe D. And Dwayne Dupree is there, uh, who, which is LA, I guess, homicide investigation something which was Gray Caden's partner, right? But as y'all can see, Gray Caden ass ain't in the interview, right? Just uh, Darren Dupree, whatever his name is. All right, we got that, right? Now, watch this. What page is this? Okay, let me start this page right here. Now look at look what it say here, right? Let me blow it up. So this will come from behind. Right? Okay. Let me move this over here so I can see what y'all can see. All right, right here, right? Now, KVD, this page 55. I don't have all the pages right now, right? But on page 55, I just grabbed what I wanted to show, right? So page 55, it say, answer. Uh, they asked him who, like, who he saw in the entourage, right? He said, uh, just like a couple of cars, he was just, uh, uh, just like a couple of cars behind or right behind him. Reggie. Right? Look, uh, just a couple of cars behind or right behind him. Right? And then he says, Reggie, uh, the dude, Alexander, the pretty boy dude. Right? Y'all see that? And then they question him. And the question is, yeah? Frank Alexander? Yeah. They were in the entourage somewhere? Yeah. Reggie. Why did he say you was in the entourage, Reggie? Now, I don't believe it, Reggie. Because we know you wasn't there. But why did Keefe D say he saw you in the entourage, Reggie? Uh, just like a couple of cars behind or right behind him. Reggie, 
Uh, the dude, Alexander, pretty boy dude. Yeah, Frank Alexander, yeah. They were in the entourage somewhere? Yeah. Okay, do okay. But as far as you know, nobody shot at you. Nobody threw anything at you. Nobody did anything towards you. No, not that I recall. Okay, you make a right hand turn. Yeah. Uh where okay. I'll get to this in a minute. Uh what happened then? You make your right hand turn. Does anybody say anything? Do you do anything at that right at that time? Yeah. Some girls got to chasing us. I'm sorry. Some girls got to chasing us. You remember what they were driving or what they or were they on foot? They was on a little white car. Reggie, why is Keefe D saying he saw you in that entourage, man? And like I said, I don't believe him. What do I wait? Do I suppose to now believe him? Now do I believe him when he, he say that he passed the gun to Orlando? Because he said he saw you. And he saw Frank Alexander. Now, who do we supposed to believe? We supposed to believe Reggie or are we supposed to be, be believe Keefy e. D. Now I never heard uh the outlaws, Frank, Michael Moore, Shug. I don't know no, nobody else that was there. Bunch of any of them ever say that Reggie was in the entourage. According to Michael Moore, Reggie was at 662 with him. But why would Re why would Keefe D say that he saw Reggie? And why did Gray Caden leave that shit out? Can anybody make sense of this? Reggie. He said, uh, just a couple of cars behind or right behind him. Reggie, uh, the dude, Alexander, pretty boy dude. Yeah, Frank Alexander, yeah. They were in the honor or somewhere, yeah. Okay, do okay, but as far as you know, nobody shot at you. Nobody threw anything at you. Nobody did anything towards you. No, not that I recall. Okay, you made a right turn, a right-hand turn, yeah. Uh, where, okay, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, what happened then? You make you your right hand turn. Does anybody say anything? Do you do anything at that, right at that time? Yeah, some girls are chasing us. <laughs> yeah, some girls got to chasing us. I'm sorry. Some girls got to chasing us. You remember what they were driving? Or where are they on foot? They was on a little white car. Okay, now. Let me go to this other page. What page is this? Now, here's the, here's the weird part, right? Check this out. 
Greg Kane in the main playing field. Look. So right here, right? WH is uh Keefe D's lawyer, right? That's Keefe D's lawyer, WH, right? Now look, Detective Long from the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department he leaves the room, right? Now, Darren Dupree, Greg Caden's partner, he starts talking to Keefe D and, 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 and the lawyer, right? Look how scandalous this is. What's up, man? Okay? And then the, the lawyer says, to Keefe D. Look, you're doing a pretty good job. I know it's kind of hard. Like, you know, and remember, this is November 9th, 2009. So this is at least 12 years after the, the killing happened. I know it's kind of hard, like you know, like you know, you ain't supposed to be getting in anything. Oh, let me stretch this out though, so I can read it. Just so we could ca clarify. And then the uh, detective leaves, Detective Long leaves the room. What's up, man? Okay. Look, you're doing a pretty good job. I know it's kind of hard. Like, you know, you ain't supposed to be getting in anything like you was involved in the murder. You got to keep it. And uh, I guess they can't make out what was said over the audio. So Darren Dupree, I think that's his name. Uh, what you told us, stay consistent with what you told us, right? So KVD said, he gave me the gun. He gave me the gun. That's what, oh, don't say that? And then the lawyer says, listen, okay, Keith. Did you hear what I just told you? I already told you before we started. Yeah. There's no reason for you to ask him or me anything like that. If you want to try, do not what I say. If you want to try to do not what I say, dude, then you know better than to ask him that question. Okay? Don't ask him that. And then Darren Dupree said, but he, because he know, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it real. But I understand what you're saying. And then Keefe D go, yeah. And then Darren Dupree said, but it has been told that way before. And then Keefe D said, I need to stay with it. Darren Dupree said, because it's the same story. Because it happened. Man, what are, they, what are they doing over here, bro? Y'all tell me they ain't coaching this dude? Why would they have to sit there and coach this dude about the Tupac killing? If he was there, he know what, what happened. Man of God, what up?
So then his lawyer says, you might want to say, and then Darren Dupree cut him off and says, so that's what you got to do. And then the lawyer says, let me say, and then uh, Darren Dupree says, stay consistent with, stay consistent with, you know, whatever happened. And then the lawyer says, let me put it this way to make it easy. And KVD said, okay. Let me, let me make it easy for you, okay? You can say that I think, I recall it could have been like this. I'm presently, I'm not quite sure if it was exactly this way or that way. But I think he could have handed it to me and I hand it to him. You know, you could put it in that kind of, and then Dwayne, uh, du, du, Dwayne Dupree or whatever the fuck his name is, uh, Caden partner goes, stay consistent. And then the lawyer says, yeah. And then the uh, the Dupree dude says, uh, Darren Dupree, whatever the goddamn guy name is. Um, the thing is, you got to stay consistent because the story already been told and leave it at that and you can sleep at night. What? <laughs> yo, yo, what are they doing here, yo, with this case, bro? So his lawyer said, and hey, remember, they over here telling, they got the cop to step out, the Vegas police to step out. And they having this conversation with KVD, coaching him on what the fuck to say, bro, to the Vegas PD. The thing you, the thing is, you got to stay consistent because the story's already been told, and leave it at that, and you can sleep at night. And then the lawyer says, "I know you're going to trust me what I'm saying." I know you are going to trust me what I'm saying. And then Darren Dupree says, but, but he's trying to be an attorney. So, and then the lawyer says, what I'm trying to say is just stay consistent, but your recollection doesn't have to be exactly. You can hear what I'm saying. You could put it in a way where I'm trying to recall, not that, not that I think about it, he could have handed it to me, okay? He did give it to me. They like, nigga, shut up. <laughs> hey, yo, this nigga KBD, yo, bro. Yo, this, this whole shit is a movie script. This shit is a movie. Why are they telling him what to say to Vegas if they they bring him there to make the confession? Why is Greg Caden partner coaching him on what to tell the Vegas police, the Vegas PD? You might want to say, so that's what you got to do. Let me say, stay consistent with you. Stay consistent with, you know, what, whatever happened. Let me put it this way to make it easy. Okay. Let me, let me make it easy for you, okay? You can say, you can say it that I recall it could have been like this. I'm presently, I'm not quite sure if it was exactly this way or that way 
but I think he could have handed it to me. And I hand it to him, you know, you could put it in that kind of stay consistent. Yeah. The thing is, you got to stay consistent because the story's already been told and leave it at that. And you can sleep at night. I know you're going to trust me what I'm saying, but, but he's trying to be an attorney. So what I'm trying to say is just stay consistent. But your recollection doesn't have to be exactly, you can, you hear what I'm saying? You can put it in a way where I'm trying to recall, not that I could think about it. He could have handed it to me. Okay. He did give it to me. <laughs> hey, yo. Yo, bro. Man, man, Keefe D, that nigga was lying the whole time. The police had him lying. This is crazy, bro. Allegedly. <laughs> okay, let me skip over to this page 140. Because that shit is... A bunch of pages, right? All right, now in this page, and shit, and said, You ain't going to jail, woo, 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 but they let him go out. You good. They let him go out. You good. You going home three hours later. Well, how long does it take you to get home? For me to get home? Yeah. Take about three hours to get home. All talking at the same time. But that's not the reason for this meeting. I mean, you know, Keith, it's a real serious case. And obviously, there's issues and there's issues of accountability. But the point is, you know, this is a unique set of facts. If you guys actually, which is true, shooting blank and having a problem with Tupac and he grabbed the gun and shot Tupac and you didn't, y'all wasn't looking for him. You know, there's it is what it is. That's my opinion. But if y'all was looking for Tupac, you know that's what your intent was, then I think that's a different issue. I think that there's different issues. No, we wasn't looking for Tupac. Okay, all right. I mean, yeah. Orlando was very upset, you know. And I mean, I get that. Wait, so now they wasn't looking for Tupac? But that's not the reason for this meeting. I mean, you know, Keith, it's a real serious case, and obviously there's issues, and there's issues of accountability. But the point is, you know, this is a unique set of facts. If you guys actually, which is true, shooting, having a problem with Tupac, and he grabbed the gun and shot Tupac, and you didn't, y'all wasn't looking for him. You know, there's, it is what it is. That's my opinion. But if y'all was looking for Tupac, you know that's what your intent was, then I think there's a different issues. I think there's different issues. No, we wasn't looking for Tupac. Okay, all right. I mean, yeah. Orlando was very upset, you know. And I mean, I get that. I got to see that whole thing in part. 
But how could he? Oh, y'all can't. I, I ain't even put it over there so y'all can see it. Look, Ray ain't said, no, they wasn't looking for Tupac. Now, how y'all, now y'all wasn't looking for Tupac? What is going on here, y'all? What is going on here, man? Why does this guy's story change so much? Oh, I know my logo is covering everything. That's intentional. That's very intentional. <laughs> hmm. well, this is my favorite right here. This is my favorite right here. Hey, Reggie. <laughs> hey, Reggie. Kiwi D say he saw you, man. He saw you in the entourage, Reggie. Right next to the pretty dude, Frank. You see it, Reggie. There go the paperwork, Reggie. He saw Reggie. Reggie. Ah, uh, the dude, Alexander. Reggie. He saw you, Reggie. Were, were you the, uh, the guy that looked like a bitch in the face, Reggie? <laughs> Reggie say he saw you, bro. You just like a couple of cars behind or right behind him. Reggie, you see it, Reggie. And Alexander, the pretty boy dude. Yeah, Frank Alexander, yeah. They were in the entourage somewhere. They were in the entourage somewhere? Yeah. He saw you, Reggie. He saw you, Reggie. <laughs> he saw you, Reggie. Reggie, he saw you, Reggie. Reggie, he saw you. He said it. I I ain't saying he saw it. The, the paperwork said it. Say he saw you. Hey, I believe you, Reggie. I believe you. You the one. You the one to tell the truth all the time. 
<laughs> you believe that, you a fool. I believe you as much as I believe Keefe D, and I believe Keefe D as much as I believe you. So yeah, 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 I got, yeah, I got, it. yeah, I got to, uh, yeah, I got to figure that one out. <laughs> Shout out to RJ Barn. Thank you for those documents, my good friend. Hey, Reggie, he said he saw you, man. He said he saw you, man. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie said he saw you, man. You was with Frank in the entourage, man. You you could clear that up. You know what I mean? Hey, racist, you can ask him that question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I could pull up. <laughs> well, I could pull up to the. <laughs> The death row pawn shop. <laughs> I can pull up to the. <laughs> I can tell. I can pull up to the death row pawn shop and holla at y'all. Y'all got any more chains left? I need to get one of those death row chains from the races. <laughs> I need to get me a death row chain from the races. Now, how, how is that going to work? In this case. KVD story don't match. Nothing he said on Vlad. Did he ever say on Vlad that he saw Reggie in that entourage? I don't even think he ever said he saw Frank. But is the statement from 2009, what did he say? Now, did he see Reggie or not? I don't know, but he said that <laughs> over 10 years ago. I, I can't I can't wait for Reggie to say see what he say about this because he could be telling the truth we don't know I'm not I'm not saying he you know I never heard nobody else say Reggie was in the entourage but I did hear could uh Gaddafi say it was a nigga that looked a light skinned nigga with a bald head that looked like a bitch in the face. But who do you believe out of Reggie and, and, and Keefe D? I don't know. Yeah, I'll figure it out. But it's interesting to me. Choke no joke. I'm a uh 
I'm probably going to clip this one and then re-upload it in clips. Uh, Cause I don't want them to flag me cause uh, I showed y'all that stuff. So I'm going to grab those out of there. And uh, it's very interesting, very interesting. But uh, thanks for tuning in. I will, I'm going to download this and re-upload it. I'm just going to clip out they, you know, those shows. All right. If you was live, you ain't missed nothing. If you watched it live, you ain't missed nothing. If you missed this live, uh, it'll still be up, but it won't be the same. Sorry. Joke, no joke. We already, you already know I'm out. Fresh baked, uh, eat 
that coochie all night. She sprayed my face like Shook Sprite. I love her. Cooch. I eat her coochie all night. She sprayed my face like Shook Sprite. I love her. Cooch. Suck my nuts when I wake up. Got more than wood and I just bust one. In my hog and knee, I'm Ron Osley. Between the sheets, and she wanted to ski. And just shout with me with what I thought was pee. She rolled the D, our water broke B. Not pregnant, but baptized me. I'm down for more love, but change the sheet. She said, please. I want more, next thing I know, mattress dripping the floor from her juices, oral had me stoned, had a Corinne and Medusa in one, and when I look in her eyes, between her thighs, I tell you no lie, ain't shit won't buy, I raw to take it, for me to taste it, red lobster, pussy biscuit, freshly baked, uh, eat that coochie all night, she spray my face like Shook Sprite, I love her, Choke, little joke, you know what it is. Let's go, let's go. I inspire y'all to all want more. Don't listen to these fakes and these frauds. They don't own cars with Lamborghini doors. When I show cut, it's back to the store. I was born in the Jacks and this shit was hell. The place where I saw soldiers fall. Some simply for nothing at all. Some cause they lived on the other side of the wall. Now this might sound crazy, love what the hood made me. Uh, poverty made me far from lazy. This ain't the place you wanna raise your babies. Young girls out here thinking they lazy. Snow's probably white, they brain or hazy. Ask them what they want to be, they look at you crazy. These young cats out here looking on angry. I was just like them, sometimes the music made me. Act other than myself, no influence lately. Cause behind the scenes, they not living greatly. And yeah. I found out that most of these cats act never so jack. Saw the penitentiary. Let's go. I inspire y'all to all one more. Not thugs. If they was, where are the slugs? Do you see them when you cop your drugs? Pulling up with S to be in the front? Nah, it's not what they got, it's what they want. In the jungle, we all on the hunt. It's chemicals. Stay the hell. Don't follow those cats. Choke, no choke. You already know. Let's go out the gray go. Now I'm out the game. Feel good, not pitching in the hood. Uh, and I really don't think I could uh, go back to selling crack and stashing them packs in my ass. I maintain weekly money the same. And now nah, I don't go through them games. Niggas testing my brain with them triple beans filled with change. Pot crack, grams in the drain. Get hit with the fake exchange. Like bacon soda flour. After being on Broadway for hours. Getting knocked, being back at start. Niggas testing if I got heart. Pushing me to pop some shots. Just stop the ball before the start. Old lady with the binocs. Give description to cops. Why they try to tear us apart with that good cop, bad cop. I ain't going for the game, he ain't tell you a thing. Your partner's with them, saying the same. You can tighten them cuffs till you see veins. Stop fucking yanking them down. They might fuck you if you ain't sane. And nigga never sniff cocaine. And I don't care what game or part of the area you claim. Gray Scarface, you must be insane. Nigga, Tony fucked the boy's dame. 
His right hand man, he's slain to get his back blown out the game. Do it on the low, let nobody know. No pillow talk to home. And if he step on your toes, don't bust a blame. Cause everybody will know. Or get out the game. They say that change is good. Uh-huh. It's a lot of stress in the hood. And I know if you could, you would. Get out the game, but you stuck in that time. Where the nigga public like shine. For a witness to drop a dime. For self-defense, do a dime. Celebs doing time. Mike Vick on the chow line. Even Kobe. Jason Williams, Gage, kick like Shinobi. Know the Kim for perjury. Uh, you know you done fucked up, right? You know you done fucked up, right? Let's go. When it's late night, make sure it's packed tight. And when you take those flights, never hide the Jake in sight. And shake them fuckers when they dead to right. Uh, Making a fifth go rumble because of stick of trouble. Blasting your gap for a cat, for in fact, with some crap that don't involve you. For some dudes that don't love you, all they wanna do is pawn you until you go down. And don't do shit for you when you lock down, or even when you touch down. But they tell you to go to the pound. The same block that gave you a pound, years in the pen, now you living again. What my state are you in? When you back it for 10 And you was just waiting for a team to come home To relive it again Entrapment should be a sin The way they reel us in We'll roll us to a revolving door to bring us in This shit is insane The game is insane The game will fuck with your brain That's why I'm out the game Yeah Just get out the game, man I know they told y'all, there's only two ways out, jail and death. Nah, just get out, nigga. Just get out, man. It's easy. Just walk away, nigga. If they care about you, they'll let you go. If you in the game, and you want to go and get a better life, and they won't let you walk away, what do that say? Get out the game, nigga. You want to sleep easy, nigga? Look at these rap niggas, nigga. You want to be the next rapper? Trapper, clapper? Federal indictment rapper? Huh? I keep telling y'all niggas, man, get out the game, man. Joke, no joke. Grego, you already know. The beast is chemical, baby. That's why I'm out the game. Stadium. Don't follow those cats. The niggas that be on the gram. Tell boy what they doing. <laughs> choke, no choke. You know what it is. Yo, y'all niggas with a stay DL. Down low. Stop flossing, man. What you, you, what you just. You just want them to just come and get you. Learn from our mistakes, man. That's what this is about. Learn from mistakes. Choke, no joke. Let's go. You already know. Make a low, let's go. My aim was enlightened. Drop jewels on you. You thinking I'm jealous. I ain't got cheddar like you. I'm the dude to a game you got school. Was a local cat snatch you when I made moves. Yeah. I'm paranoid and preaching. You was sleeping. Knew you was sneak deep and couldn't see us beefing. Learn from mistake. No sure I got cake and press a nigga to rob me. Been still my fate. Get knocked by the fence. Lay up four by eight. Ass so busy flossing. Ain't thinking about Jake. Loose, yapping, they wiretapping, videotaping, your ways in action. Front like Tom's hard, two door garage, ice like Liberage, with no damn jaw, without a reasonable doubt. You think you Jay Z with your platinum jewelry? He got a job, B. You shining on doctors with four degrees. Laughing because I'm broke, I'm broke on the streets. Stay DL, BDL and Sal. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell.
Let's go. For beef, we not dolo. For cash, you go solo. Thought I was your man, shot me down like Manolo. Thought I was your partner when you played me was whack. No niggas does that, I wouldn't flip like that. What gives? See your man struggle while you live? That's some shit, struggling. Give you the kicks, used to stick for gooses. Warm when we pump deuces. Break night in the jacks, trying to see millions like Brewster. You don't act like you used to, I'm the dude. When niggas was friends, you like, no joke, I'm new. I wet you like McClain for those who claim to be pain. The game of death, that's what you get when got game. Ill with automatics, we never static. You carry that niggas, put one in your cabbage. Fear, don't have it, you fill me with laughter. You know GSC, they know I'm original, gonna clap her. Like Dan get dapper, see a mill be Casper. They trade the doctor, the math for math them. Say DL, BDL is L. You ain't DL when your name ain't bad. With your pockets, cop the ice locket. Yeah. She's somewhere in Houston, you blew like a rocket. Her seed was bait, through the line she caught it. Gave her all that loot, she couldn't afford it. Praying to them bitches, y'all feeling hell. Blue pop in your face, daddy, all about Benjamin. Remember me, I'm your friend, say the end. Like Chucky, used to slay bitches like Buffy. Thinking why they cuff me, think of the luxuries you had. And it's out with other willies you brag. Push the big bends with 20 inch rims. Went in the club, Chris for all my men. Sitting across the bar, what's up, star? Back to reality, you back in bars. You chose not to listen, had the age class glisten. Through the rules of the game, you played yourself on position. Stay DL, BDL is L. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. Stay DL, BDL is L. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. Stay DL, BDL is L. Yo, son, yo, son, yo, son, that son is me, yo. See, you ain't noticed me, yo. I all see all these diamonds and stuff, yo. How can this I not? That's the diamond ring I got, yo. Yo, yo what you talking about, yo? yo diamonds, yo, yo, you know what I'm saying? Yo, yo. I got 35,000 hours on me right oh now. Oh, my God. Nigga, I can show you the money right now. I can show you the money. No, you ain't gonna fact, show me nothing, I can show man. You my gun, yo. What? Yo. Oh, my God. Yo, yo, the gun, yo. yo. Oh my god, look at you, man. Yo, stay DL, man. Joke, no joke. Stay DL, Puff. Niggas out here. Lining you up, brother. Joke, no joke. Catch y'all in the AM. Hopefully it'll be warm tomorrow, man. It's been so cold, man. I can't work out outside when it's cold, man. But I catch y'all in the AM. Like I said, I'm going to dead this one. I'm going to chop it up and re reload it because I don't want to, um, I don't want them to flag me, man. Somebody got me scared thinking they wouldn't. I don't think they would, but I'll re-upload it in pieces. Y'all got the message. Peace.